Hello everybody, this is Mr. E from Art with Mr. E. It's been a long time, I am sorry about that. Today we're going to be doing a quick, fun lesson using Cats vs. Pickles as our inspiration. If you don't know Cats vs. Pickles, you should. <laughs> These are two of the arty ones. Love them so much. Here's the cat and here's the pickle. And these are the chunks, I believe. They're the bigger versions of them. There's also some bean bag versions that are smaller. These you can get in blind bags. They are so fun. They have them at five below. I've received a ton from the amazing, wonderful YouTube site, Mr. Buttles Booty, which is an unboxing, unbagging kind of channel that's all kinds of fun and she has generously sent me so many cats versus pickles for my classroom and to give to my students and I am so appreciative of that so these are our inspiration for today's lesson all right so let's get started get some oh, I am melting some crayons if you just heard that ding so we're gonna get some paper. Now, for young artists, all you really need to do is talk to them about ovals and that the oval should be more of a vertically geared oval. Now, this is a very fun lesson to introduce the idea of theme. Theme, because the cats versus pickles definitely have themes about them. Now the start is very similar for both of them. Vertical oval, vertical oval, but then they differentiate in how you do their faces and little additions. Cat of course has cute little ears at the top of their head. And they have a cute little tail sticking out from behind. Now, the faces do change a little bit depending on the cat and the pickle. But they're very similar. There's a lot of them that have almost the same type of face. The eyes almost come out in line with the nose. And just two little whiskers. Now this is our base for our character that we're creating. Pickle. Go do some oval type eyes. And a fun, goofy smile. And the pickles have this little kind of leafy thing on top of their head. Too cute. Now once you have the base, you can create whatever theme you want. Now if you've seen Cats vs. Pickles, you know that there are no limitations. They have food, plants, artists, kinds of things. It's amazing. I have a eight ball cat in my car because my dad, when he was alive, uh, he did demolition derby and he was eight ball ed. So I found the eight ball and I keep it in my car to think of him. Now, I like the arty ones. So I think I might do an arty one that might be a little bit different than the one that they already have. I don't know. There are so many, they may have already created this. And really the cat is just a canvas for whatever you're creating. So you might be able to tell this is a glue bottle. Or maybe you couldn't tell, I don't know. So I'm also gonna put some pieces of paper because in my classroom we use glue a lot with collage. 
So I'm going to have some bits and scraps of paper. That way I can add some fun color to my cat. All right. So for pickle, I could stay within an art theme if I wanted to. I think I'm going to do a box of crayons. Well, not necessarily a box, but a bunch of crayons. That way he can be super colorful and super arty fun. But you could do this with any kind of inspiration. Maybe you want to use animals as your inspiration, or patterns, or prints, or food. So many fun directions you could take this. And young artists out there, don't be afraid. Just start drawing. What, what could it hurt? You might make a mistake. I do that all the time. We learn a lot from our mistakes, and then we can change things, right? And then I might make just kind of a couple little marks like the crowns had marked on the pickle. <laughs> I think I want to make a tongue on him sticking out. Bleh. <laughs> now, if you've seen Cats vs. Pickles, they are so colorful, so wonderful, so much fun. I think that this would be a great marker project. I'm not a, a big fan of markers in a lot of things, but for something like this, they're not real huge. I think markers might be great they would allow for a lot of color to be put down in a short period of time. Now, cats versus pickles, I love them. They're my favorite. But they also have dog versus squirrels. And recently, I've heard they came out with bear versus donut. I think it's bear versus donut. <laughs> so funny. But if you just use markers on these, I think they'll turn out amazing. And if you wanted, you could cut out these and glue them down to a solid piece of paper, create a little pattern, almost make like an ad. Or you can make your own bag, like it's its own blind bag. That could be fun as well. A lot of possibilities with cats versus pickles as our inspiration. All right, I hope that you enjoy this idea. And if you haven't seen Cats vs. Pickles, go out to Five Below. They have them at Walmart and some other stores as well. And get you a blind bag today. And join the fun. All right. Bye-bye now.